that's what I'm talking about. Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. And as you know, we've been hitting the farming aspect out here pretty darn hard for the first time. Lots of big plans coming, but one thing to go along with that is I want to get the front of the property looking as good as possible. And so we'll go into that detail later on. But today is going to be the first official mowing of 2023 because before I knew it, the grass is already almost waist high in some places. It is crazy how quick stuff grows here in Georgia. So we got the bush hog on. I'm about to mow the front yard and then hopefully we'll be getting some of the junk out of here, all the scrap wood put away. So let's do it. Let's get started. All right, so now that we've got some of the yard mode, I want to clean up this area. I've got a bunch of old siding here that someone gave me for the side of the house. Unfortunately, it's the wrong kind of siding for this house. Um, still want to keep it, might be able to use it for something, but I want to move it to the back. Uh, and then there's just some other junk around here. I'm also going to move this bird bath back just a little bit. This is a uh, amazing old concrete bird bath. It's all one piece, really cool. Um, heavy duty piece. I love the columned base. I got this from local junk dealer Ben Reeves who's been on videos before. If you, you know, if you ever come to Waverly Hall, you got to stop by and see Ben's shops. He's got a little bit of junk for everybody. You just, you gotta put that on your itinerary. Anyway, I'm gonna move this back so I can mow all of this old pad here. thing is heavier than it looks and it looks pretty heavy That's about a centered or a All right, so it's been a couple days since I first started this cleanup in the front here uh, and other things happened, so I got pulled away from it, but I'm gonna get back to it right now. Uh, my biggest focus at the moment is getting the front of this property looking as good as possible and cleaned up as nice as possible, especially for um, any areas that we're going to put in plants. We're still hard at work on that, but I've got some time that I can devote to just this. All the other pieces and parts of the property can wait at the moment. This is the focus. So we're going to get back on it and tidy this area as best as possible. So privet right there. Damn. Damn privet, man. They just, they won't go away.
All right, so the front looks better already with just the grass cut and some of the wood moved away. I'm gonna continue working on it to improve the look of the front of the house. But right now I'm gonna come down here and I've got my native azalea, which hasn't done too well this year so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mulch around it and put down some more of that coconut fiber that will keep all this weedy stuff from taking it over. It's also got a heck of a heck of a lean to it there. I've seen some wicked looking poison ivy growing up around this plant. Thankfully, I'm not allergic. All right, one mulched in native azalea. Wish I could correct its growth, but hopefully it, as it gets bigger, it'll kind of straighten out. All right, so as we come over here, you'll see the next thing that I want to remove from this area. And that's going to be this holly tree right there. Plus I need to get in here and mow around this pecan tree because I see the wisteria is trying to make a comeback right there. I want to go ahead and remove this holly tree. This is not an intentionally planted holly. It's got the uh, the rootstock type of leaves versus the uh, cultivated leaves. I can show you the difference in the leaves in just a moment. Um, I had struggled with keeping or getting rid of this holly, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Plus, it's really just serving as a big wisteria trellis right here, and we might be able to use this room. Uh, for some more growing as well in front of our rock wall right there. But if we look back over this way, I can show you this holly tree here. Now this one was most certainly intentionally planted. You can see it's got the, the cultivated or domesticated type leaves on it with the single point. But it's offspring over there does not. It's got the leaves with all the little needles on it. So I need to get all this tin that's right here up and moved from this area and then we'll try to knock that out of the ground.
All right, so one holly tree removed. It's about to go to the place where bad holly trees go to live, or rather burn in a burn pile. But now that I've got this out of the ground, like I said, I kind of went back and forth for a long time on it. Uh, but now that I've got it out of the ground, I really like the way it looks without the holly tree. As you can see the fence over there. And I'm thinking that we might not on this video, but we might come through here with the plow and go ahead and plow this area. I'm not sure exactly if we would be planting here or not, uh, but I'd have to talk to the uh, the gardening boss for that. But just to plow this area regardless, because I think it'll help pull up a lot of these wisteria vines. Now, this is a spring tooth plow, so if it catches on something, that's heavy enough uh, to prevent like your points from breaking like if you hit a rock that's underground to prevent your points from breaking the plow will pull up and then the spring will pull it back down once it's over the obstacle so when i was plowing that for the garden over there you could hear the springs um working you could hear them popping back down because that was how strong the wisteria vines were they were actually pulling the plow points up and not not letting go so uh you know it's not going to get every single wisteria vine that's here but we can definitely give it a shot now i'm going to go take this holly tree back where it goes and uh, we'll look at it again after I get it out of the way. Get the tractor out of the way. Kind of think about what we're going to do next here. Other than just mow this area. Alright, so about to do a big 360 of this whole area. There are the blueberry bushes we planted. There are the two peach trees that are down here. Of course the garden beds as they are at this point. 
and you can see the rock wall, not the rock wall, the, uh, the old wall back there, concrete wall. And now we can see it much clearer without the uh, kind of chunky holly growing there. And yes, I know, I need to get in there and pull a bunch of wisteria off of that. Then come around to the front where we've got our tomatoes, our wagon, and something that doesn't belong. All right, so this is the last standing privet that's in the front of the property right here. And it's one that I've kept for uh, sentimental reasons, more or less here, but I think it's time for it to go. For one, it's half dead. If you look up in the top, you can see a bunch of the leaves are dead and haven't come back out. I noticed that the other day. And also it's an invasive privet, which is, you know, goes against everything that I believe in for what I'm trying to do out here. So what I'd like to do is be able to push this tree over. This is probably one of the largest privets out here on this property to date. I mean, that's a, that's a big, big little tree right there. So I don't know if I'll be able to push it over or not, but we are darn sure gonna give it a try. So let's watch and see what happens. All right, let's see if Robert can't get this out of the ground. This should be interesting. I actually think that I'll be able to combine pushing it with digging on the stump. Might be able to get it out. That root comes out right ready to go.
All right, so this thing just ain't, ain't working with me here. Thirty done tried to follow me once and kill me, but we're gonna get it out. I'm gonna chop at some of these roots. Just can't loosen them up. Yeah, you got to go. That's one loose. You got some more. Try that. This is coming down today, one way or the other. All right, so I told you one way or another, this tree is coming out. I've got the tree, the tree chained to the F-350 and one of my production crew is inside the truck. We're gonna be talking on the phone. I'm gonna start pushing with the tractor and they're gonna give the truck some diesel. We're gonna try to get this thing on out of here.
that's what I'm talking about. All right, well, that was a hell of a thing right there. Of course, the chickens had to come over here and check it out too, see if any good grubs got dug up. And of course, the lawn is all messed up, but that's okay. That can be straightened back out easy enough. Now, this thing is actually still partly in the ground, but it is down now, which is the most important thing. Um, I may actually have to cut this up into smaller bits and pieces to haul it off, but it's down and we're about to, job ain't over yet. We're about to try to get it the rest of the way out of the ground, which hopefully goes pretty easy. But the hard part is definitely done. Look at that. And this is, I looked it up earlier. This is a type of privet. It is a tall, glossy, privet or wax leaf privet so it has a little bit different kind of leaves on it than the other privets but it is just as invasive Put that away. 